Fish and Chunks. Hi, everybody. Old Gare out to Fish and Shack. My buddy, my best fishing friend, Tuffy. We just got back from Fishing Table Rock this morning. We were up the White River and had a fun, fun time. We're taping this show Wednesday, uh, kind of just early afternoon. Uh, I guess it's the 9th of May already. And uh, I tell you what, there's a lot of great fishing taking place here in the Ozarks. Let me just talk a little bit about what we did today. We got up early, dark 30, went up the White River, fished the pockets, the coves, any little creek arm we could get in, and caught fish. Boy, this is top water time, folks. Boy, we had a ball catching bass on top water this morning. And, you know, it's a blessing because last year, remember, at Table Rock, we had high water, not much of a good top, top water bite. But this year, we're making up for it. And we're catching them, anyway, myself, I'm catching them on two different types of bait. One would be, if I can grab it here, the old Pop R. Uh, the pop R is one of my favorite baits. Uh, it's just, it's always been a great bait for me. I've been using it for, I don't want to tell you how many years because it's been a lot of years. The original pop, pop R in, in my books is the best, without a doubt. And another thing that we're catching them on, of course, is the spooks. Catch a lot of nice topwater fish on spooks as well. So what I like to do, I always keep two topwater baits tied up on my deck. Sometimes they don't want the spook. Sometimes they don't want the uh, pop R. Like today, I caught a good fish on the spook early in the morning, and then I had another swipe at it, didn't hit it, threw it again, nothing. So I picked up the pop R in that same spot and popped it about three times, boom, a good 16-incher. So sometimes, you know, it pays off, I would say, to use both baits. Spooks are catching a lot of fish. Pop R's are catching a lot of fish on Table Rock right now. What's happening, folks, is that uh, there's a, just a lot of bait fish moving up into the pockets, the coves, the creek arms. There's just a ton of bait fish up there right now. And so here come the bass. By gosh, I caught another walleye today. Three nice crappie. So all these predator fish are pulling those shad up to, the air, up to these spots just off the shoreline, and they're feeding. So top water's good. And another thing, guys... Spinner baits have been good. A little off-colored water or good wind. Boy, with those bass up there feeding on shad and on the shore, just off the shoreline, pushing them around. Boy, that spinner bait is really a good bait, especially again in the wind. Another thing at Table Rock's going on right now would be uh, the brown jig. The brown jig's been paying off. They've been dragging. You can drag these off the points. You can pitch it up, up, especially up in the James River, it's a good bet, pitching it up in the brush piles and getting it right in the brush pile, jigging it, you know how to do it. Boy, that brown jig with your favorite trailer will pay off. Also, jigs are really working good around some of the docks. Now, other baits at Table Rock, swim baits. Hey, uh, I missed a good fish today on a topwater. I picked up my spinning rod tied with an underspin with a swim bait on it. Pitched that thing out, let it count down to around five to seven, slow rolled it back in, boom, right before we got to the boat, caught a nice 15 inch or so. Swim baits, underspins as well, is working. Had a buddy out the other day, picked up a couple fish again on the umbrella rig, and another and dragging jigs off the points. I've heard of the, the uh, some fish being caught on uh, the Carolina rig. So there's a variety of baits are picking up fish on Table Rock. As I mentioned, I started the day up the White River and picked up some fish on top water, but mid-morning I picked up my crappie jig and started jigging. 16th ounce crappie jig, chartreuse orange with a little chartreuse tail. Pitched it up near the banks, got three real nice crappie, one nice walleye. So with all that bait fish up in these areas, don't be afraid to do a little crappie fishing. <clears throat> We love to, and I want to tell you another thing, <laughs> Tuffy, I'll let you down, is that the wind, <coughs> wind was blowing, and the pollen <coughs> is really, really taking its toll out there. So, boy, be prepared, because if you have some allergies, you're going to have little side effects like myself. I can't hardly talk. A lot of pollen in the area. But we love to crappie fish. And I, I want to tell you that uh, who doesn't love the crappie fish? Take this picture. Take a look at this one. 
our old buddy Hank Williams Jr. loves to crappie fish. Absolutely. I had a visit with him and he just loves to crappie fish, catfish, whatever. This country boy loves his crappie fishing. Hank Williams Jr., how about that? Okay, let's go to Tani Como right quick. Uh, they've been releasing some water. Drift fishing is a good, good again this week on minnows, drifting minnows and night crawlers. They're picking up some fish with power bait, power eggs. Seems like pink is good, pink or orange and white. Those three will pick up some fish for you. And they've been picking up some fish on little Cleo spoons as well. Let's go over to, uh, let's go to Bull Shoals. My gosh, Bull Shoals is high. We have some off-colored water. So spinnerbait fishing's been good, especially in the wind at Bull Shoals for bass. They've been picking up some fish on, I tell you what, another good bait. I think I mentioned it last week, but I love to fish at Bull Shoals this time of year when that water's high in the new brush. The dreaded salamander. Oh, I tell you, I've been using this thing for years. I don't want to tell you how long, but a long time, this particular bait. And I, I, I rig it up Texas style, and I pitch it up at Bull Shoals in that new brush. Get it down in there and let it fall down the side or work it in. Oh, hang on, because bass love salamanders. They just get mad. When they <laughs> and I've caught some good fish on the salamander out at Bull Shoals. Swim baits at Bull Shoals. They've been picking up some fish, as I said, on spinner baits and off-colored water in the wind. They've been picking up some fish uh, on jigs, doing some jigging out there in the brush, and uh, even some, off some of the points, they've been doing some uh, umbrella fishing, I understand, and also Carolina rigs. Bass fishing looks pretty good at Bull Shoals this weekend. Get in that brush. Woo boy. How about this out at K-Dock at Bull Shoals? Look at this beautiful young lady. Kay Dunn was out the other day in the K-Dock area, right at K-Dock. Picked up a 16-inch crappie. Come on, Kay. Beautiful fish. God bless you. What a nice fish. In fact, she caught a couple big ones. So uh, crappie fishing around K-Dock has been good. Yeah, I've had some pretty good reports of some walleye being caught out there. Some of the people have been trolling, deep diving baits off the points and flaps and jigging night crawler. You might experiment with that this upcoming weekend as well. And we've had some reports mid-lake area, some real decent walleye fishing at Bull Shoals. Looks good to me. Woo boy. All right, let's go over to uh, let's go over to Stockton Lake. You know, they've been having some pretty good crappie fishing out at Stockton this week. Uh, we have a report of some limits being caught. Some people are using that float with a jig about maybe a foot to 18 inches, pitching up near the brush and near the bank and bringing it back. Other people are going off into the brush piles catching fish. And uh, I, Jeff Deckard, look at this picture. Jeff Deckard was out a couple of days ago and picked up a nice lemon of fish. Now that's a bucket of fish right there. Good going, Jeff, at Stockton. Crappie fishing continues to be good. By the way, the walleye fishing's picked up the last few days out there. And it seems like uh, they've been picking up fish kind of around 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning till about 11. That's the report I had. The points and more fish have been caught off the flats at Stockton the last few days. Jig and night crawler. Try that. Anywhere from 8, 10, 12, 15 feet of water. And there's been some nice fish caught at Truman. I've talked to some people who's had a hard time. Other people are getting limits. And it seems like if you're not getting them on the bank, kind of get off the bank in about 10 feet of water and try jigging or minnowing in about 10 feet of water. Other people, I've talked to a friend that was in them in a brush pile in nearly 15 feet of water jigging and caught a nice mess of fish. So uh, Mike Wally was out the other day at Truman and look at his son. Look at that big old crappie. Oh, I love kids with holding up big fish. Oh, I love it. So, uh, Mike, good going. You've been catching some nice fish out of Truman the last couple of weeks, I know. Lake of the Ozarks, they've been picking up some fish around the crappie, around some of the docks, and also not so much tight on the bank, uh, as my report, a little off in about 8 to 10 feet of water, but don't overlook the bank. You never know when they'll jump up on there. But crappie fishing has been good at Lake the Ozarks. Well, that's our show for the day. I want to thank you very much for being with us today on, on the Fish and Chums. We love you Fish and Chum people. God bless you. Spread the word for us because, as you know, we like to talk about it all. Walleye, crappie, bass, catfish, whatever. 
And so uh, we're a good family uh, report show, and we just appreciate you joining in. Be sure to like and share, and be sure to subscribe. You guys need to subscribe. That helps us out a little bit. Just hit that su subscribe button, and it's absolutely free. And if you have any photos or uh, in the information you'd like to share, just go to our email. Email us at fishingchums at gmail.com. Calm. Going to be a good upcoming weekend The weather. It might be a little warm, but hey, we'll take that. A little windy. We like the wind. Get out and get bit. God bless you all. Happy outdoors. Go get bit. See you next week.